Hey guys, this week we've been talking about pumpkins, and this is another book about the pumpkin life cycle. After the book, you have an assignment to put the life cycle in order, so pay attention and make sure you know where the pumpkins start and where they end. Fall Pumpkins, Orange and Plump Chapter 1, Planning a Pumpkin Patch It's spring, but I'm thinking about fall. Let's grow pumpkins in the garden. We'll make little hills in the soil. My hands get dirty. We'll plant two or three seeds in each hill. Gardener's leaves leaves lots of space between the hill and the pumpkin patch. Pumpkin vines can grow as long as 30 feet. We dig moats around the hills. Then we water the seeds. Sunshine warms the wet soil. Later the seeds crack open and tiny roots grow down. Moats around the pumpkin hills help the seeds stay wet. The wet soil is good for the seed. It keeps them from drying out. Two weeks pass. I see tiny seedlings. Little leaves grow from the vines. The vines spread out. Curly tendrils grab onto other plants and fences. Pumpkins need long vines to grow. Small tendrils help the vines spread out. Sometimes gardeners guide these vines so that they'll grow in the right direction. Chapter 2. Flowers and Pumpkins Now... It's summer, look, I see yellow flowers on the vines. Male flowers have pollen inside them. Female flowers have a bump. Buzz, bees spread pollen from one flower to another. The bump will grow to be a pumpkin. A pumpkin's female flower opens up for only one day. The flower closes at the end of the day. Little green pumpkins begin to grow. I water the plants every week. They start small and grow bigger all summer. Leaves take in warm sunlight. Sunlight becomes food for the growing pumpkin plant. Pumpkins take about 100 days to grow. The biggest pumpkins can gain up to 25 pounds in a day. Finally, it's harvest time. Cool air and short days tell the pumpkin to stop growing. The skin turns orange. The leaves turn yellow. I'm ready to pick one. Most ripe pumpkins are orange, but some kinds are green, white, blue, or red. All pumpkins are green when they're ready to, when they first begin to grow. Using the pumpkins. Let's make pumpkin pie. Splash. We wash the pumpkin's skin. Chop. We cut up the pumpkin and bake in the pieces. We scoop out the soft flesh and make a pie. It smells delicious. Yum. Buckskin, small sugar, and wintry lux winter luxury are types of pumpkins that taste good in pies. Let's carve a pumpkin. We cut open the top and scoop out the seeds. Pumpkins with lots of ridges have lots of seeds inside. Smooth pumpkins have fewer seeds. We cut out two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and don't forget the candle. Yikes, our jack-o'-lantern looks spooky. I save some pumpkin seeds. I will plant them next spring. I will think about my pumpkin patch all winter long. How big will my pumpkins grow next year? Atlantic Giants and Big Max pumpkins grow really big. The heaviest pumpkin ever weighed was 1,725 pounds. That's about as heavy as a cow. Wow, so this is an actual recipe that you can use later from roasted pumpkin seeds. Maybe on Friday you'll have time to do that. Here are some of the words that we learned. Delicious, that tastes good. Flesh, ooh, that's the same word we used when we learned about apples. That was the inside fruit part, right? Harvest, that's when we pick them. Jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin with a face carved in it. A moat is a ditch around something that we fill with water. Pollen is the tiny yellow dust made by a flower. Ripe, that means that it's ready to be picked. Root, the part of a plant that grows underground. Seedlings, a small young plant. Soil is the dirt or earth we plant around. And a tendril, I love that word tendril, a narrow vine that curls around other plants, fences, or other objects. And vine, a long stem that grows along the ground. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Go now and do your pumpkin life cycle activity. Try to remember where does a pumpkin start and where does it finish. If you need to come back to the book, it's right here. I'll see you guys later. Bye.